NFL Election Day just weeks away now, and today Congressman Mike Conaway making a stop in Midland, Odessa. Good evening. I'm Katie Orth. And I'm Jacob Sloan in for Eddie Flores. Big Two's Gian Kim had the chance to talk with him one on one. So, Gian, what are some of the big ticket items that you talked with him about? Well, guys, we touched on everything from the 2020 elections, coronavirus response, to racial unrest. But we're focusing today on talks of the next possible stimulus package. Congressman Mike Conaway says he believes those checks will be a no-show. But here, what he had to say may be the reason behind lack of agreement among lawmakers. That lack of civility, that lack of self-control, and the lack of drive to try to paint the other side, or, or both sides do it, uh, as being evil, awful, terrible people, doesn't allow us to compromise where we need to. U.S. Representative Mike Conaway had this to say when asked, What do you think is not working between party lines that's hindering decision making in Congress? As the country heads into September, there's not much movement on another aid package. Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin testified Tuesday before the House Sub Committee. I believe a bipartisan agreement still should be reached. But Conaway says it's the finger pointing that's counterproductive to their mission. You can watch the rhetoric on the debates. As soon as somebody starts losing the, the, uh, the, the battle of ideas, they start calling you names. We're going to have to, 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 to try to find our better selves, our better angels, so to speak. Both sides are about $1 trillion away from meeting each other in the middle. But Conaway claims another relief package will do more harm for generations to come. I don't think there's a grandparent out there who would look at their grandchild and say, go borrow 1200 bucks from the bank, pay me the give me the 1200 and then you can work it out with the bank. It's all borrowed money. Conaway says piggybacking a stimulus package following the funding of the federal government is unlikely. He believes enough government programs are in place right now to help Americans. The food banks are distributing uh, record amounts of food every week and every month to folks that are uh, you know, having those hard times. Uh, we then have a personal responsibility to try to take care of our own families as well. If they're making too much money to qualify for those programs, then you would have to argue, okay, we've got more money than the program allows, then you know, why is it that you're not able to put food on the table? Now, Conaway says if another round was to be given out, it would fall somewhere between one and three trillion. He advises taking a good look at whether or not the two point five trillion dollars that were already distributed were effective enough to repeat. Reporting live in studio, I'm Jian Kim.